Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alex, and welcome to, um... Welcome to Hoi 4. Hearts of Iron 4, I need to really stop saying Hoi all the time, because not everyone knows Hoi means it's Hearts of Iron 4. H-O-I-4. Hoi 4. Anyway, welcome back. It's been a long ass time. We have all the DLCs now. I think last time we recorded this, I had no DLCs. I have all of them now. And we are going to play a nation. Not, not, no, not that. I failed that horribly. But we're going to do 1937. Because if you do 1939, you're just asking for hell. But we have all these new nations we can play as we can play anyone from the China, Asian, or from the Baltics, or anything. So I'm going to play as my. I'm going to play the Kingdom of Romania. Who, let's just go through some faction. Um, Gigori Tescori, uh, he's not aligned. I mean, they're, they're not like, they're not Hitler, they're not Stalin, or they're not like the United States. They're kind of neutral in that sense. Ruling party is the centrists. There are elections. And we have Balkan dominance. Institute royal dictatorship and preserve Greater Romania. We have neutral foreign policy. Pretty much if we do anything, World to World Two, World War Two would begin. And King Carlos Second's lifestyle. Pretty much we act like the king. <sighs> now let's do the brief history. Romania found herself on the winning side of the Great War and as a result gained new territories and people not of all who were Roma Romanians. To guard against the Revanchlitz desire of the country that were forced to cede land, Romania was created created a web of alliances across all the Baltics. In recent years, however, the country has concerned itself mostly with the domestic matters and the government of King Carlos II has allowed these silence alliances to lapse. As the political situation in Europe challenge, changes, Romania may well may well find herself standing alone and vulnerable. So, Romania. We have Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Poland. We're going to play on normal with the standard modes on. So we get achievements. We don't mention that. And we don't mention that. Let's delete that. Iron Man, King of Hover, and you won. It's because... Hoi 4 was not okay. Alright, so let's quickly get our other troops. So we have a whopping 31 troops. Now, we can't do anything, really, because we are, well, not on a line. We have low manpower. So to our south, we have Bulgaria, Albania, parts of Yugoslavia, Greece, Turkey, everything else. In the east, we have Soviet Union and Ukraine, who is part of the Soviet Union. To the west, we have Hungary, Yugoslavia, Italy, Austria, Czechoslovakia, and to the north, we have Czechoslovakia, Poland, Germany, and Lithuania in the Baltics. So, Romania is a strange nation. First of all, we can just release no, Moldova and the Republic of Ukraine. Don't know why we would want to do that, since they don't complain. And we lose a lot of manpower if we do. But, um, let me just quickly explain. So first of all, we have volunteers only, export focus, free trade, civilian economics, which is good, uh, and then we have a bit of fascism, a little bit of communism, and some of Democrat. Romania has pretty... So we have three trees we can go through. Join the Allies, join the Comintern, so on and so forth. This one is kind of... Why not? Hungary, split Czechoslovakia, divide Yugoslavia. Ooh, you might want to do this, Institute Royal Dictatorship. Cool. 
can start with this. We're going to go that way just because the game slows to a halt. Uh, we have... We have spies, we don't worry about that in probably today's episode. We can ban fascism. Now, actually. We could probably ban them. No, we can't, because there's just 2%. Knowing the so, we know the rules. And you know the rules, and so do I. Basic mechanics and construction as well as... Mechanical engineer. It's you always do these three, and we do have a plus five on research speed. Diplomacy. Everyone either hates us or why does Austria? Why does the? Why does? A lot of people hate us. Trade, we have not a lot of resources, so for... Hey, United States, we're gonna give you... Once we're going to do that... That gives... I guess we can bump that up to here, of course. Or actually, cancel that. Uh, United States will actually just take... You know, fix itself, right? If I press this, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, yeah, we'll just keep that trade up. Construction, counterintelligence. We don't even really worry about that. What we should worry about that is infrastructure. Or has the poorest infrastructure? Probably to Transylvania's. Let's just try to get all the poorest sections. So let's have everything to at least a five. Coastal forts. No one's gonna try to get that. Naval bases. We don't need that many. Land forts. I think we're fine for now. Docks. Civilian factories. Let's build some civilian factories. And let's just get the milita military factories. We're done. Alright, so we have all of Romania will probably will be very much factoryized, which is good. Uh, productions. Looks like we're doing okay. Except I do have to actually like kill this. I have to kill it. So, we are not really, it looks like we're not going to be producing any, any, uh, we could get this, but that'll give us the 1937. Let's give it, okay, so we can't give it, let's give it just two ports to build that. I think we have tanks. Let's get everything to two if we possibly can. Okay, uh, let, me, uh, let me just drop the tanks to a one. And drop this to a two. There we go. Um, I think the rest of this we'll worry about that in due time. And I think we're good. So, because I have this at a historic way, I, we are in the good chance that we actually don't need to do much and say, oh, okay, so this is one of the many events that can pop up if you've never played Boy 4 or any Paradox game, really, um, if you've never played a Paradox game, well, then I feel sorry for you if you're a good strategy player, especially grand strategy, but um, point is, uh, these events will randomly pop up, depending on your nation. Every nation gets these pop-ups. Anyway, Magna Lupus, mistress of Carl, has reportedly purchased a new villa in the expensive suburb of Bucharest. Now she can afford it as a How she could afford it was subject of extensive speculation. New evidence in foreign newspapers strongly suggests the king himself authorized the purchase with government money. Scandal is spreading. We must make public announcements. Madison Madison. 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 So we're just going to do supplementary budget. 
They also have um, these uh, things called. Uh, so let me just quickly explain what Holy Four is. Um, actually, no, that's good. I paused it. So Hearts of Iron Four is a World War II grand strategy game. So you play as a nation. You play as a nation. You don't play as a leader in the nation. So like for an example, you can't like run away from Romania and become the leader of like a puppet Ukraine or something. Right? You will play as just Ukraine. So if your entire nation is gone. Do get a game over. So it's not like Crusader Kings th 2 or 3 where if your nation's gone but you're still alive, you just become like a duke or something. Right? You just need to have always have a um, family member alive, an heir alive. So this is set during World War II, as you can see. We, can, we started from January 1st, 1936. You can also start right as the uh, uh, invasion of Poland begins for the German Reich and Soviet. I don't suggest you do that. Anyway, so and this is the country tab. Pretty much shows everything. These are your like national spirits. So pretty much like each event of right neut neutrality, foreign policy, every so that pretty much means this will affect this. We'll explain that later. This is generally you can understand the name of the person, like what they are. So like, and you hover over it. Also says their name. It says a bunch of things. Uh, their election. It also says, like, you know, it gives you a deep dive, like, how many people are democratic, how many people are communist, how many people are fascist, which people, like, haven't. This is, of course, collaborative, which is where you and another government control it, manage subjects if you have puppets, unoccupied territories is explanatory. And I think the rest of this is pretty understandable. This pretty much affects your laws, right? So this is your advisors. Depending on if you want, right, if you want a boost in fascism, you pick, like, the Prince of Terror. No, fascist, fascist demagogue, demagogue. If you want a communist, you, you do the communist. Simple as that. These affect your economy, how many people like join, etc. This is... Uh, well, I think it's uh, research and production, right? So, with this, it states, oh, how fast, you know, it, each has bonuses. This is overly simplest. This is your focus tree, pretty much. This is how you change, how, right? So, here you can figure out this is how you change the game, right? So this is your, like your decision tree. So you click one of these and they pick your decisions for you. Right, so if I want to see, so they're generally large, but you do need a DLC. Do keep that in mind. Death, in, Death or Dishonored is the DLC you need to play Romania correctly. Or if you want, you could play as Bulgaria, but they have this generic tree which is just army effort aviation naval and then oh um who do you do do you become a communist do you become a fascist or do you just join britain and was that a lot of this is pretty self-explanatory in the most part so yeah i think throughout the series we'll ex this is your ten uh, world tension pretty much how many what are the current war so right italians war on ethiopia like, so pretty much this is what leads up to World War II. This will slowly drop if nothing happens in a short amount of time. But if it reaches 100, it will stay 100. And the game goes until the end of World War II. So that's a pretty long time, depending on how, how what speed you play as. So we generally just have to sit here. And the top is your command power, your army experience, your naval experience, your air experience. So the more like wars you win using these, the stronger they become. Convoys, how much convoys you have, fuel is how much fuel you can use for like tanks and such. That's how many factories you have in total, that's how many people are free. See, this is manpower in total, and it'll tell you, oh, there's uh, 18.13 thousand people f that can be used. And I'm using, I'm currently using 200, and then it tells me, like, I'm using 251.80k. This changes, right? So if you do like scraping the barrel, well, everyone must join. Doesn't matter. If you disarmed, well, you gain people, but you also can't do shit. Extensive, like most of these unlock if you're. For some reason, why? Why is this? Why does like this one say? Communist and fascist, but uh. anyway, this is like where you recruit, right? So if I want to train someone, I can do it. 
I'm curious. Can, can I replace you with... Artillery? Can I just replace you with artillery? Ah, oh, we need... We need army points for that, and we cannot do that. So, this is kind of... Our soft tack is shit. I'm just gonna be honest there. So, we need to get that army experience up. So, I guess what we could do is train our guys. We'll train them until... They all get, like, a level up. Alright, so some of them are, like, regular. Other are trained. Okay, so some of them are... So, most... So most of them are trained, so they'll suffer from malnutrition. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing motorization. Oh. Mm, we may have to scrap. Who, who do we have to drop? I guess we have to drop you. So, you three. And then this is how effective the factories are. So, motorization takes a while. So, we can have decisions, right? We can ban fascism. We can do anti democratic, anti. We can promise for peace, which will. Which will pretty much make it to where. I, I don't know what that does, actually, to be honest. But we kind of sit here. This is going to finish up decently quick. It does seem like it is a bit bigger than I would hope. We should also start doing some of these. Just so we get a bit bigger. So, uh, we just did the dictatorship, and Germany's rearmed these two locations. And now we have Karls, and we just lost a whole hell of a lot of export focus. Let's do free trade. What the, was the problem? That actually does It seems we, we're not losing them. Oh, we just had a chance to ban. F ah, I could have banned. F could have banned fascism. How's fascism looking for us? Eighteen. Okay, we are good. So let's do the revise the constitution, which will do a lot for us. And we have our first free shots. We are going to do radios because it's good. Uh, let's look at our construction. No longer affected by supplementary budget. So we just have Carlos, um, King Carlos the second, uh, his life lifestyle. <sighs> I said that weirdly. So we do have one plane. We actually have a few. We don't have enough factories because we need five. But we only have 23, and all 23 of the factories are being currently um, worked on. I am working on the infrastructure for everywhere, so everything's better. See, everything is doing much better. Point is, I'm overall trying to make Romania, that's this part of Romania, good.
But I've never seen that word, Balkan's dominance. So, oh, sets rule I can create faction. This doesn't look the greatest. We'll see. I want to strengthen this a bit because... I like how this is called the deal with the devil. I wonder what Poland's doing. Build the right well. So, uh, I just want to quickly revise the constitution. And let's, just, let's do that one. I don't know why it's 70 days though. Why is it? Wait, we have enough. Oh, we can ban fascists. Oh, okay. We have banned fascists. Boom. Hitler is not going to be happy with us. Um, I think now we should start working on just getting these nice. Like. Oh, this is the same thing. Well, just do that one, because it seems like it does. Seems like just going with the monarch at this point seems like a better idea than any other idea this game has this ma um, suggested. And look at that. We have much more people now. We still have crap. Oh, the way is it done? I like how it says never, 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 but that's probably because it's not being worked on. Let's just fortify the bear. We are good. The reason I'm not putting it to five speeds is because it makes it lag when I zoom in and out of the map. But see, Shankai. Oh. Oh, China. Me, at this point, I would have invaded Shank. Shank. Uh, I would have invaded Shanky. Because you can take their capital. Wait, I think they have invaded. Have they? Have they invaded yet? They might. They have. Okay. They, so they have done some invading. Oh, those stars are the capital. See, so Moscow. Riga. Wait, Riga is a capital? Oh! Oh! 
Rika! Oh, and you just saw that. If you're wondering why I'm saying Krika! Oh, I like how it says, it says available, available. Oh, oh, it tells me which... Oh, it tells... But you can play as Egypt? What? I didn't know you could play as Egypt. I gotta watch, um... No divisions in basic training. Oh. Well, mate. Let's get some basic training. Let's add five. Oh, fuck you. We'll do that and then I will start. I think... Actually, I don't think I'll do anything right now. Yeah, let's do the Captain of Industry, just because that will kind of bump up our English strength. Oh yeah, um, Spain's going on. By the way, because we're playing with La Resistance... Casablanca. Where's Casablanca? I wanna find Casablanca. Where is Casaba? I am. I feel so. Oh my god. Uh, well, I might do it. That achievement. Who knows? Germany doing right now. So we have banned uh, So now Okay, so it's kind of a waiting game now since we are playing with Roman Once we do the that I will do um, army maneuver and Let's do the promise of peace, just so we, people don't like come after us with it. Now we need to start working here, so let us slowly just get these like recon companies and such up. Oh, actually, you can train these guys and get some. 
I mean, because we're not at war, let's just do it. We're foundations. So you will do... Some artillery. Let us just do the... Guaranteed. I like how this is the Romanian theater one. So I wanted to get this out of the way before the uh, new DLC came out. Which is the... I don't know. So yeah. Oh boy, don't you love sitting around? So this is going to be a very slow series just because that's how this um, like, uh, series is. We could... Uh, Construction going. Not the best, to be honest. It seems like by the time this all gets done, probably like 1947. So we can't really do any like extreme builds. So this is gonna take a long. I'm sorry, but why do we have no routers? What is this? Accompanied by his mistress and most of his inner circle. King Carlos II has arrived in Nice on a holiday. Taking rescue in the Royal Lounge at the Hotel Necri, the key of local for that he tend to spend the next few weeks enjoying the finest food and hospitality while visiting and flying to help and short trip to Paris for shopping. The question about the timing of this video as well, or my. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of making it seem like you just support the king and you kind of just get better 
like speed. Roman. Kill the devil. We're going communist, boys. Even though we have more. Actually, we can technically go all three outside of these. Technically, we could do these two. Because they're not like mutually aggressive. And civilian work. So we'll probably do these two. And probably, but we're probably gonna join the common turn. We'll see. Decision, let's make a decision. Anti oh, they do anti-democratic raids. Oh. They 